Let's move on with scripting our turret and making him dumber and smarter at the same time. We have uh, a simple look at inner update function which is simply defined by this variable here. Let's rename this variable to say target instead of look at target so that we don't have to type as much all the time. Now target is a predefined variable in Unity but since we're not using it inside of its class it's okay to use it as a variable. Okay. Now in the update function, the look at will rotate our turret immediately. That's a little abrupt, so let's uncomment this and add our own type of rotation. Now, rotations in Unity or in most game engines are done with quaternions. Quaternions were invented a long time ago by an Irishman while he was walking across a bridge with his wife and he kind of had his eureka moment and then used uh, something sharp to basically write the quaternions into the wall of the bridge. It's no longer visible nowadays but back then he devoted his entire life in the math world to basically tell people about quaternions and to spread the word. Now later quaternions were basically replaced by a faster method or a, a different method of mathematics which are called matrices which are also possible inside of Unity 3D. However, when game engines came along, matrices were slower for the computer calculations than quaternions, so that's when quaternions became popular again in the math world because they deliver very fast results. Now, don't ask me anything about math because I don't know very little about it, but fortunately Unity will do all the quaternion rotation calculations for us. We only need to call the classes. So um, let's start with making our turret rotate and we can do that by uh, defining our first variable and let's call this our target rotation and this is a quaternion make sure you use a capital Q and then the sub function of this class will be our look rotation now the look rotation uh, needs two variables the first one is uh, the position that we're going to rotate towards and the other one is our uh, angle or axis that we're going to rotate around so first type target dot position which is the position of our uh, target and then minus transform dot position and that basically uh, subtracts these two from each other using quaternion math and I don't understand anything about quaternion math but this will work just fine for us because it will look at these two positions and then it will rotate over the vector 3 dot up which is basically shorthand for y as explained in the x y and z videos so this will be our target rotation and now we need to apply this to the rotation over object so type transform dot rotation which is the rotation of our current object that is this script is attached to which is a turret and we'll need to apply the rotation using quaternion dot s lerp I know the name is a little funky but basically this one takes three variables the first one being the current rotation which is the same as the one that we're setting here the second would be the variable that we have defined here the target and then next we need to uh, change the timing of this because we want our turret to rotate slowly instead of looking directly at us so let's use time dot delta time and delta time is the difference between the last frame when it was rendered and the frame that is rendering now so these are very 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 small numbers many numbers behind the decimal so this is a very small number and basically turns our update function into a fixed update because now we're doing things over time instead of over frames and that is very useful because some computers might be faster than others and if the computer is very fast then all of a sudden their turret will rotate very quickly and that of course is not fair so that's why we need to uh, look at time 
and then multiply it by a force of, for example, 2.